Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Salty Kerr, and we are ready to continue our adventures in Lotro from beginning to end. We left off here working on some quests for the Rangers of High King's Crossing. Uh, collecting detritus, basically, and garbage. But we will also be heading across to deal with some mayhem that's over here. Uh, I don't know how far south we're required to go to collect all these materials. You have to apparently quiet ways of this detritus. I don't think we have to go any farther south. And as I say that, we have to go farther south. Pretty sure that's it. You're gonna have to swim into the brandy wine here and deal with the boat or the ship that has sunk to the bottom. Which is right about here, I think. So let us Is the sunken shipwreck. Oh, it's up there actually. So I got a little bit ahead of myself in the wrong color. So let's head back over here and stay on the western side of the river. And collect the detritus up to there. point it probably isn't even worth getting the horse anymore since it's dismounting us every time we pick something up. Yep, there it is. The boat. There's no such thing as swimming underwater in Lotro. This is the extent of it. Which is fine with me. Never a fan of those kind of uh, mechanics. You're holding your breath and, and swimming. It's just it's like slow motion. Like so as, uh, if you've played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You know, swimming underwater is, you know, it is what it is. It's like slow motion everything. It's like, why well, I don't really like the, the, the trireme combat. It just is like you're fighting in slow motion. Not that it's not a great game, don't get me wrong. Please don't misunderstand, but... Trireme combat is not where that game shines. Okay, now we're going to cross over. I think we've gone as far north over here, north or west, however you want to call it. And we'll deal with the other side of the river. Thank you. 
Be gone. Really annoying that. Thanks for dropping in. I hope you're having a good day. Having a nice, relaxing Monday afternoon. I need one more oil pouch. thinking about when we can get down to here, um, but not down far enough for here. I wonder if we have to get to 20 points before we, I wonder if it goes, these are like every five, these levels, so it might be quite a while, uh, quite a while before we're down there, because Merciful Shot would be helpful. That being said, um, it doesn't get really powerful until way later in the game, so a lot of times Merciful Shot can get you in trouble because I keep saying Merciful Shot can start with an M, and what I mean is Reign of Arrows. I don't know how, why those sound the same to me. Anywho, um, you know, you'll use Reign of Arrows, and all Reign of Arrows will, will do is drag all the aggro down to you. Instead of uh, but late game when you have rain of arrows and you have it amped up with the number of targets and the amount of damage it can do, it can be pretty lethal. You can wipe out a lot of enemies pretty quickly. All right, so I believe this is one of the entrances that we have discovered. Maybe not. Uh, but we are going to steal this chest right here. Give me your loots. I think we need to discover this storeroom. Oh, we do not have that quest yet. We have to get all the entrances. 
first, second, third, fourth, fifth entrance way, and then I think we we turn that in, and then we come back to get this. So we're not going to worry about these yahoos out here just yet. We're going to worry about finding these entrances. Does this count as an entrance? in here to do a bunch of the bunch of quests in here. But it kind of kind of isn't worth killing all these guys at the moment. This one is determined to die. So let us Fill her dream. Um, there's something up. Oh, there's something else up there. Doorway. Okay, so we found one of them. Looks like the fifth one. Okay, got you the swords and bows. to the top to get all of them. Okay, so let's run around here. We're gonna have to come up here and get this bottle eventually. Um, this is the dining hall. We gotta find the first entrance way. to run in farther on this one than we ran in. Maybe we gotta run all the way up here. Hello? No? Just right there. You're getting pummeled. and got that door, but it didn't count. Okay. Alright, now we got to defeat the crawlers. Which are beneath the rock. ruins. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so these are yellow, so they're not going to bother us. But they'll probably bother us when I flip this over. And there is a Flip over and defeat the crawlers beneath. What if that'll count? Will it count for the ones that aren't? No. They have to be the ones. We just got a deed for crawlers. Go away, creepy sand lurker. Oh. It's had to come over. I didn't want to have to kill you, but now... Or you're not even... You're not even scared enough to run well. Uh, 
if I can hit this rock again. I can, how about that? Let's see if this one will count again. Or two. Yep, it sure did. How about that? Might as well do this one again. I think we've got a whole bunch of quests to turn in. Back up, back up the High King's Crossing. What do you need? Would you do something for me? Beat the creature beneath the lighthouse, indeed. What can I do for you? Some Stay a moment. Storm, storm. So that vase is on the top of that building that we saw. What do you this need? Has all kinds of quests for us to finish. He's clapping pretty vociferously at the sword. What do you happening. need? Greetings. Could I speak with you a moment? We will accept his quest. Weeds of the river. Greetings. Alright. And then this guy's just wandering around. How can I be of service? Would you do Finish something for quest. me? quest. Collect Atwood's orders and Oaks's orders. My research shows Bard Tharseer was the north port of my ancestors on the shipping lane down the bottom dween. I do not know whether the tomb robbers should be interest could be interested in there. I do not know what the tomb robbers could be interested in there. There should be not much of value left, but if they are interested, then I am interested. What do they know that we do not? Your earlier work has served us well, my scouts tell me. Let two of the more prominent robbers have emerged from the ruins and are leading the digs themselves. They are the key to understanding the tomb robber's interest in Baradharsir. Return to the ruins and collect the orders off of two particular brigands, Atwood and Oaks. Those orders will be the clue. We'd... Excuse me, we need to solve this mystery. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so all of those are over here, except for more of these um, crawler quests. Okay, heading back. Lurkers.
Where'd all the crawlers go? Basically just hit them with a barbed arrow and let them bleed out. Was this the little ruins with all the the crawlers? The rocks, yes. Is our scholar nodes? In case you're wondering. Okay, so those are done. Um, and everything else is across the way over here. So let us head back across the Brandywine. There are lots of baddies over here. camera work in combat. Get a little better at this. So that's unmarked room. Raiders. Oh, we don't have raiders. We have robbers. Uh, I could have sworn that's where he was, though. So. Ah! Here he is. Ogden Oaks. Hi, Ogden. Ah! Must be parted with this life. Okay. The other guy is inside here. Uh, yeah, he's right in there.
Okay, uh, robbers. Oh, I think that guy is supposed to be here. That wood sorters. Oh, are they here sitting in a chest? Um, did that other guy who was running through here? The other guy who was running through here might have collected the orders. Which is another reason that sometimes or is it, it might be up higher actually it might actually um, is it up there we have to go up there anyway to get that vase tell me it's not a valid target he is a scruffy tomb robber that makes him a valid target Arrow on that guy. Where did he go? He ran all the way down there. Oh, it's weird. The camera boss is hitting me here. I, put a bar's arrow. I gotta see what that other. What is this? This just got applied. Minus 133 credit defense. Hmm. Uh, no, I guess he was not up here. But his orders might be. See here. Nothing to see here. Let's see, it's right up here. Still no Atwood. Oh, there he is. Or the A team, man, they're not giving up. Uh. We're gonna have to go back over there anyway. But, oh, well, now we gotta creep this thing all on us as well. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me while I just backstroke into the attack. Uh. Oh, hey, crawl, 
dollar. Oh, I thought the lighthouse was back over there, but it's actually over here anyway, so it all ended up for the good. How about that? Sometimes things just work out for you. So let us go defeat the creature beneath the lighthouse. Quests. Oh, I should have checked. These are level 30. Oh, these are 33, actually. Um, we are level 33, so... We've still got a couple quests over to do in... In Esteldeen. Going up and killing those worms. It was a level 30 quest, so we'll probably do that starting our next episode. But for now, let's go ahead and turn these in. He's going to give us some more quests what to can do, I do for you? So we got some known to the... Uh, known to the whomever. I think it's the Rangers of Estelle, the Wardens of Anubinos. There we go. of Anuminas are down there. Okay, turn What can I do for you? Might I take a moment of your time? Aradharsir. What can I do for you? Could I speak with you a moment? Search within the storeroom. We know where that is. It's on the northern side. How can I be of service? This one? Okay, so we got a couple more quests to do over there. Oh, Sardin has a quest here. Stay a moment. We will accept. Talk to all or call away at Tinodir. Okay, that's our next kind of stop. Uh, we'll probably go there and actually do that. We'll, we'll finish these up and do that. And then uh, head over to Esteldine to finish that other one. Um, because then we'll have a swift travel. But with that being said, thanks for tuning in, and tune in next time as Salty Kerr continues to simply walk into Mordor. <laughs>